In this demo I will show how easy it is to build uh, a simple processing pipeline with Strimzy and uh, with Apache Kafka. What we will do here is uh, we will be reading the messages from the Telegram instant messaging uh, system using the Camel Kafka connectors. Uh, first we will use the source connector to read the messages uh, which we receive into a topic called Telegram inbox. There we will use some Streams API application to read this message and uh, transform it and branch it into two different uh, uh, Kafka topics. Uh, when the message from Telegram contains a text, it will do a sentiment analysis and uh, when it contains some picture, then we will do object detection. Both of these are using machine learning based on the deep Java library, which I think originally comes from Amazon AWS and is running inside Kafka Streams API again. And when they do the, uh, the analysis or the object detection, they send the results to the Telegram outbox topic, where uh, this time sync connector from Camel Kafka connectors again picks it up and sends it as a response to Telegram. And all of this will be, of course, deployed on top of Kubernetes using uh, Streamzy. I guess when you are watching this video, you might have already heard about Streamzy. Uh, we provide uh, operators to make it super easy to run Kafka on top of uh, Kubernetes. And uh, the other projects which I will use uh, will be Apache Camel Kafka connectors, uh, which uh, provides a lot of great connectors to integrate your Kafka with uh, some other systems. And uh, as I said, the deep Java library will be used uh, for uh, doing the machine learning uh, processing. So here I have my uh, Kubernetes cluster where right now nothing is uh, really running. So first thing we have to do is uh, deploy the Streamzy operator uh, and uh, I'm using the 020 release candidate one in this demo, which should be released soon or maybe when you are watching this, it is already out available. And I can check the pods and I can see that the operator is now running. So uh, I can move on and deploy the Kafka cluster. If you used some operators before, this will be familiar to you. I create a custom resource called Kafka, where I specify all the details about my Kafka cluster. I say how many Kafka replicas should there be, how many Kafka brokers. Uh, I give it some resources. I configure uh, how the cluster should be accessed. Uh, uh, I enable the encryption and authentication and also authorization. And... Uh, I, of course, configure the storage and uh, the Prometheus metrics as well. And then uh, I do basically the same also for Zookeeper. And then I deploy the operators for managing uh, topics and users and also the Kafka exporter, which provides some additional metrics. And to get all of this deployed, all I need to do is kubectl apply, not this one, I want it 0, 1. And when I now watch the pods, I should see that uh, the operator saw the custom resource which I created and already starting deploying uh, Zookeeper. Let's do kubectl because that fits better on the screen. So we can see that we have already the free Zookeeper nodes uh, starting. And once they get ready, the operator will uh, start the Kafka brokers. And uh, after the Kafka brokers are ready, then uh, it will move on to the, uh, to the additional operators and to the Kafka exporter. While this is deploying, we can check the second YAML for Kafka Connect. Uh, so because the Kafka Connect will use these Telegram inbox and Telegram outbox topics, I'm already creating them here in this YAML using these Kafka topic resources. 
So that is something what Streamsy provides to make it easy to also manage uh, Kafka topics in a declarative way uh, using the YAML. So I don't need to run any commands inside Kafka to actually create the topics. I just deploy these, uh, these YAMLs and uh, Streamsy will create the topics for me. And the same works with the user, so I can create a user which I call MyConnect, uh, which will use the TLS client authentication, so authenticate using TLS certificates. And I can also specify which ACL rules it should have, so it needs to have rights to all these uh, internal connect topics which it is using. Uh, and it also, of course, needs to be able to read and write uh, these inbox and outbox uh, topics. And then I deploy the actual connect cluster using the custom resource called Kafka Connect. And uh, I specify here my custom image, which has the Telegram connectors from the uh, Apache Camel project. And I, of course, give it the details to where the Kafka broker is running. And I give it the credentials for authentication as well. And then uh, I will also tell it to load an additional secret, which contains the API keys or the token, I think it's called, uh, for the for the Telegram bot, which I will use uh, for the communication with Telegram. So hopefully the Kafka cluster is now running. I can just do kubectl get Kafka to check it. And uh, I can also check the pods all running already and I can now deploy the Kafka Connect. So as you can see all I did was kubectl apply on the whole YAML and it created all the things inside so it created the topics, it created the user and then it created the connect deployment itself and when I do okay, get pods or kubectl get pods, then I can see that there's a, a Kafka Connect pod which is already starting. And it takes uh, about a minute to get ready, but in the meantime we can check how we deploy the connectors. Uh, and again, we use the operator pattern, so we create a Kafka Connector resource, where I say that the name of the connector instance should be Telegram source. I say that the class it should be using, using is uh, Camel Telegram source connector. I give it some configuration to uh, unmarshal or marshal the, the Telegram messages into JSON. I uh, give it the way where the authorization token for Telegram is stored. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, then I have exactly the same for a sync connector as well, where I just use, uh, use the sync connector instead of the source connector. And this is what is used to send the replies uh, to the messages we will receive. So let's see if the connect pod is already running. It is, so uh, we can do kubectl apply on the telegram source. And we can do the same on the Telegram sync. And uh, I can now also do kubectl get Kafka connectors YAML to check whether they are running. So the this connector is now running and the other connector seems to be running as well. So that looks all that looks all good. And uh, now we have to deploy the Kafka Streams uh, applications as well. And this follows exactly the same pattern. So we create or we make sure that the topics uh, which the application needs are created. And uh, we create the user which the application will need, including the access rights to the topics which it will consume or produce messages to. And then the application itself is just a regular deployment where we use the 
uh, environment variables to load the TLS certificates for the authentication and just pass the configuration options like where the broker is running, uh, which topics should be used, uh, what should be the local level and things like that. And uh, again, we can do QCTL apply on the transformer. And then we have two more applications, uh, which look, uh, the YAML files look more or less exactly the same. So that's the streams uh, processing up for the sentiment analysis and uh, the one for the, for the object detection. And that's basically all we need to deploy for this demo. And we can do kubectl get pods. And we can see that uh, all the pods are running and hopefully all the pods are working as well. And we can now switch to the Telegram UI and try whether it works. So I'm really just talking from my uh, personal account with this bot called Yakubot. Uh, if you have Telegram account, you can easily create uh, your bot as well and you can try the demo on your own. And now I can send here some message, for example, something like uh, Apache Kafka is a great streaming platform. And we can try to send it. And you can see that we got the response. Your message was positive with 98% uh, probability. So maybe we can try one more. And Streamzy makes it super easy to use. And again, we got, uh, uh, again, answer that it was positive, that it was 87% uh, probability that it was positive. Uh, we can try uh, some negative message as well. Uh, the weather was very bad today. And yeah, that's not really positive, but uh, yeah, that's how the machine learning uh, works when you use some simple model, uh, which is just from the from the model zoo and uh, not something trained uh, too much. And uh, now we can try it with the pictures as well. So uh, let me drop in a picture of my mouse and you can see that I could answer that uh, yeah the object detected in this picture was uh, a mouse so that uh, works quite well we can try some uh, other picture with uh, trains and uh, yeah it detected the trains there as well so uh, I think this works uh, quite nicely uh, the whole demo, including all the YAML files and all the Java files with uh, the source codes uh, for the machine learning and transformation and so on, that's all available on uh, my GitHub. So if you want to learn more, feel free to go there and uh, check it out. Check it out. Thanks for watching.